If Florida is the Sunshine State, then St. Petersburg is the reason for this enticing nickname. The seaside city regularly takes the trophy for the most consecutive days with sunshine in America. As such, it's known for warm weather, world-class beaches, quality shopping, and decadent dining. From St. Pete Beach to John's Pass Village and Boardwalk to the Sunken Gardens, most of the best things to do in St. Petersburg, Florida are outdoors. Keep watching. Dali Museum Believe it or not, the Salvador Dali Museum in St. Pete has the most extensive collection of this surrealist artist's work outside of his native Spain. Enter and you can see famed canvases like the hallucinogenic Toreador and eggs on a plate without the plate in the flesh. The building itself, designed by architect Jan Weymouth, is a delight to roam around, making it an excellent place for art lovers or those without a taste for art to visit. The bug-eye-like windows, made of over 1,000 triangular panes of glass, reflect the waterfront view in front of the building. There's also a labyrinth to get lost in and a fountain of youth. St. Pete Beach there's no denying it, St. Petersburg has a ton of great beaches, but none rival those on St. Pete Beach. This island community boasts some of the wildest, sportiest, and summer-ready beaches in America. All the beaches are well-maintained, making the soft white sand safe for kids' tender feet, and of course, the water Gulf of Mexico warm year-round. There are tons of budget, two luxury hotels to choose from, unique boutiques, arts and craft galleries, and refined to beach casual eateries. We suggest heading to the Cory Avenue area if you want to enjoy a spot of shopping and chowing after lazing on the beach all day. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. And stick around for the best of St. Pete. The Woodson African American Museum of Florida. This African American History Museum was named after Dr. Carter G. Woodson, who founded Black History Month, making it a must visit destination. The museum is on a mission to preserve, present, and interpret African American history, promoting an understanding of equal rights among the St. Petersburg community. Exhibits include temporary and visiting art exhibitions, and there are ongoing jazz nights, historical walks, artist meet and greets, and an art walk. Check out the museum's website before visiting to find out what you can add to your vacation itinerary. Whedon Island Nature Preserve If you're a nature buff, you'll find lots to explore in the Whedon Island Nature Preserve. The park spans just over 3,000 acres and has an array of ocean and land ecosystems. Hiking trails run throughout the preserve, allowing you to observe mangrove, oak, and pine forests, tidal inlets, and a wide variety of wildlife up close and personal. There's also a cultural and historical center that tells the story of the region's archaeological finds. There are picnic and fishing spots and also opportunities to engage in water sports like kayaking. Plan to spend at least one day here. The Mahaffey Theater If you're a fan of the TV show Glee, you'll need to add catching a show at the Mahaffey Theater to your itinerary. Catch a performance of the renowned Florida Orchestra or the always sell-out Shut Up and Laugh comedy series. Or take the kids to the family-friendly Clifford the Big Red Dog musical. The theater has astonishingly great acoustics and views from every seat, so don't worry about booking seats in less desirable locations if you need to cut costs. Consider the convenient dinner delivery service, where meals from local restaurants of your choice are delivered to the theater atrium before the show to save you some time. John's Pass Village and Boardwalk Do you love outdoor shopping? How about shopping outdoors right over the ocean? Well, you can do just that at John's Pass Village and Boardwalk. There are about 50 shops and eateries to stop in on, from clothing boutiques and toy shops to ice cream parlors and seafood restaurants with sea views. But if you're there to see the sea, it's not necessary to visit a restaurant. The wooden boardwalk takes you right out over the ocean, so there are views from anywhere you happen to be. So grab a donut or a craft brew and watch the sun dip below the horizon. The Chihuly Collection if you love sculpture art or simply think you'll find huge things crafted out of colorful glass interesting, this one's not to be missed. The Chihuly Collection holds one of the world's most extensive collections of art by American glass artist Dale Chihuly. This artist is known for immense sculptures and chandeliers, all exquisitely created from hand-blown glass. Be sure to check out the glass-blowing demonstration at the Glass Studio and Hot Shop while you're there. It's located within the Marian Arts Center right nearby. If you're really into glass art, sign up for a 30-minute class where you'll make your very own glass object to take home with you. Saturday Morning Market 
Want to experience a different kind of weekend brunch? Head to the bustling St. Petersburg Saturday morning market to have your pick of eat-on-the-stroll morsels from Irish pies to Jamaican patties. If you're staying with family or in an accommodation with a kitchen, buy your holiday supplies there. There's an abundance of farm-fresh, locally-grown fruits and vegetables to choose from. And to keep you entertained, there's a string of street performers. Think clowns, balloon artists, magicians, and musicians. The market's only open between October and May, so schedule your vacation accordingly. Museum of Fine Arts If you're looking to broaden your art and culture education, add the Museum of Fine Arts St. Petersburg to your list of things to do. It's right in the heart of downtown, so there's no excuse not to visit. Stay just long enough to catch a glimpse of the Monets and Renoirs on show in the permanent collection, spend longer wandering around the Sculpture Garden and Steuben Glass Gallery, or time your visit with one of the many traveling exhibitions in fashion, collectibles, and more. It's cheap to get in, too. Just $20 for adults and $5 for kids with cheaper tickets on Thursdays. There's a cafe on site, often with live music. Ride the ferry to Tampa. You might be vacationing in St. Petersburg, but that doesn't mean you'll need to cross all other Florida beach cities off your visit list. Luckily, it's only $8 for adults and $3 for kids one way to jump on the high-speed ferry and jet across the ocean to Tampa. It takes about 50 minutes for the trip. You get on at Vinoy Basin in St. Pete and jump off at the Florida Aquarium in Tampa. But it doesn't run on Mondays and Tuesdays. Tropicana Field do you want to work in a baseball game into your trip away? Then be sure to check out what's on at the Tropicana Field before you head off. This dome-covered sports stadium is a hop, skip, and a jump from downtown St. Petersburg, and it's guaranteed to entertain both the sporty and not-so-sporty in your family. That's because it's the only sports facility in America that hosts an aquarium with cow nose rays. You can feed, interact with, and even touch the stingrays while taking in a game at the same time. Tarpon Springs Sponge Docks this one isn't actually in St. Pete, but it's worth a mention, since the history is so fascinating. Plus, it's an easy 45-minute drive. The main claim to fame in this seaside city is its sea sponge history. In the late 1800s, residents discovered a demand for the sponges that naturally grew on the seabed. The townsfolk encouraged expert divers to come over from Greece, which created a thriving Greek community. Head here to learn more about the fascinating sponge harvest history, Buy sponge-related souvenirs and tempt your taste buds with authentic Greek cuisine. Sunken Gardens Have you ever been curious about how the Sunken Gardens got their name? In the early 1900s, George Turner Sr. bought six acres of land and drained a small lake in the middle of the land to create his garden. This gave the gardens their name. Today, the park encompasses a still large area of four acres and is easily accessible from downtown St. Pete. The gardens boast a collection of over 50,000 tropical plants and a considerable bird population. Highlights include the Japanese garden, orchid arbor, and the wishing well. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites in St. Petersburg? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.